Does anyone recognize this gentleman here? The teacher wrote on my son's, on my son's exam, you are a little Einstein, and I was so proud of him until I went to school and I saw the kids, you are a little Einstein. <laughs> this is Einstein. You know, there is a story about Einstein, and the story is as follows. I heard it when I went to Princeton University to give a speech. The story is the following. Einstein's assistant ran to his office and said, Professor Einstein, Professor Einstein, you made a mistake, sir. You have given the exact same set of questions for the second year running for the class. And Dr. Einstein turned, looked at his assistant, smiled and said, the questions are the same. But the answers since last year have changed. My dear friends, the questions are always the same. How do I increase my profitability? How do I decrease my mistakes? How do I differentiate myself from my competition? How do I make sure that my company stands out? But the answers since last year have changed. And the only constant thing in life, OK, other than death and taxes, <laughs> is change. And change is like a wave that is about to hit the shore. You can either let it sweep you off your feet, or you can face it head on. If you have flexibility and dependability, you will face it head on. The example I'm about to give you is about a person who faced change head on. The story is as follows. My wife, Christine, after four years of being unemployed four years ago, she found a job at Amdocs, which is an Israeli-based company dealing with software. They are in charge for the software behind Alexa, Amazon. So with that job came many benefits. One of the benefits was medical insurance. And that was a great medical insurance with MetLife. So immediately, I called my insurance agent at Universal Life. And I said his name. I will cancel my insurance because my wife so and so and so got a job at Amdocs. He was upset and he said, Michael, I thought you were a wise guy, but I don't think you're a wise guy. What happens if your wife gets sacked? Will you come back to us at a different and later on stage and you think you're going to keep the same premium? And I said his name. I didn't think of that, to be honest, but because I don't like the way you come across, can you please ask your manager to call me? And Kulis Savidis, the sales manager of Universal Life, called me. He said, Michael, first and foremost, congratulations to Christine for getting a job with Amdocs. It's a great company from what I know. Tell me all about what you think you want to do. I told him the whole story. He said, can you do me a favor? Can you get me the contract of MetLife? And I promise by the time you get it, in less than 24 hours, I will give you a reply. So we got the contract. And in less than 20 hours, he called me back. And he said, Michael, if I was in your shoes, I would cancel with Universal. This contract even covers the dentist. That's a great contact contract. But let me tell you something. What happens if Christine decides to move companies and go work somewhere else? Not if they fire her, if she decides to move companies. If you come to us after five or six years, you won't have the same premium. So what I suggest, since you have our top tier and you're paying 1,500, why don't you downgrade it to 500 euros? You keep your premium. You don't have all the benefits. You take the benefits from from the MetLife insurance. And if Christine decides to leave, you can always come back to us and you can upgrade. My dear friends, that day I learned a valuable lesson. And the lesson is the following. Lose the sale, but don't lose the relationship. Gullis Sabidis managed with his soft skills, with his communication skills, with his flexibility, not only not to lose the sale, but keep the sale, keep the customer, and have free advertising at the same time. 